an important survey states that 89 percentage of novice researchers do not have the clarity on problem statement, aim, objective, and research questions. Stay with me for the next few minutes to get absolute clarity on problem statement, aim, objectives, and research questions. If you want to understand all these things impeccably, you have to watch me till the till right from the beginning to till the end. Let's get started. Defining a clear research question, aim and objectives is a crucial step in your research project. However, these terms are often confused. There are many questions it may come to you are aim, research objectives, research question and problem statement same. If yes or no, how is there a link among them which comes first in the order of you know, giving in the thesis? Whether all of these required in every research, can you skip some of them in your research and have to decide these things, have to write these things? I'll be giving answer to all these questions in this video. First thing, what is aim? Aim is the, you write in a one sentence, which gives the complete picture of what you intend to achieve in your, in your research. That's what aim. Then what is objective? Aim is the broad picture and you will write within one sentence what you hope to achieve at the end of the project. Objectives compared to aim, then you will just go with certain specification and generally you use action verbs to write objectives like the research is to analyze, the, uh, the research aims to analyze, in that way you will be writing it are to the purpose of the study to analyze the various behaviors of the students in the online class. So here, analyze, discover, invent, all these kind of action verbs you'll use. But these objective will help you to achieve the overall aim of your research. Next comes research questions. Research questions can be much more specific compared to the objectives. The objective states that uh, the research aims to understand the various behaviors of uh, uh, students in the online class. The research question will go like this, whether students are listening online class effectively, what are the factors uh, you know, which make the student to deviate from the class, what are the good particular usages of technology will aid the better uh, retention rate in the online class. These are the questions. See, objective, kindly make a note, aim is in a very big scale. Objective is the next one. The very key thing is you have to write using the action verbs. Then if you come to the uh, uh, questions, it will go much more specific, which will again address the objectives. One more thing. If you fix your objective, you will not deviate from your research. Otherwise, you will simply wailing away to the different field which may not be useful to your research. So once you fix your objectives, you can operate within the boundary. That will help you a lot. Next thing, the objectives will come from the problem statement. Because as of now, I have not talked about this problem statement. Problem statement is nothing but it is a research gap. See, after conducting the literature review, you will identify there are some gaps, existing gaps in the particular uh, area. Then that you will take it as a problem statement. Problem statement, it's a problem now for you to explore. Then further you will, what you call, work on your research to explore that research. What way you will explore? Here, you will have a, some one aim, then maybe three to four objectives. To achieve those objectives, you will have a very specific questions which will directly address the problem statement so that you will be able to achieve your objectives and aim. So here, the questions can be written in two ways. One is a direct question, another one is indirect question. Direct question, you can write like, uh, like this. What are the mental, if what you call, uh, 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 effect of online classroom? is online classroom affects the behavior of the student. First one is direct question, what are the effects? You will answer it. 
is the online class affects the behavior of the students is the second one. So first one is direct question, second one is indirect question. And all these aim, objectives, research questions, you will be framing based on the problem statement as I already told you. But still one thing you should not forget, based on these objectives, questions and the problem statement aim, you will fix the research methodology because either it is a quantitative research or a qualitative research, which type of research design theoretical thing you are going to decide also it is based on the objectives you fix for your research. Sometime you decide the methodology then you will, uh, you will frame the objectives whereas some cases you will fix the objective then you will decide the methodology. Vice versa it will work but you will decide based on your convenience. At the end, why do we need to all these things, you know, whether you need to have objective, research questions, aim, problem statement, everything. You, can you skip some of these things in your research? Yes, sometime you can go ahead with your research without research questions also with only aim, objectives and problem. See problem statement, certain research, you may not mention it clearly, only will go with aim and objectives. So here you can skip the problem statement, that's what we mean it is a research gap and you can go ahead with only objectives and research questions. Whereas in some research they may not have the overall aim, instead they will have objectives and research question. Here they will skip aim and the problem statement. And any research you cannot skip objectives because objective is the core. Aim is the broader picture you, you, what you would intend to achieve but even without writing that directly you can go to the objectives also. The one important fact which you cannot uh, avoid is objectives whereas research questions, aim, problem statement these can be skipped if you don't require you can directly operate with only the objectives. But it depends upon your research uh, style, uh, the research methodology. If your research methodology demands everything, you need to add everything. It doesn't demand, you no need to go ahead with that thing. Say for instance, if you use the quantitative research methodology, you will use the hypothesis, then research questions, both you will combine. In case you use the qualitative research methodology, you may not use question uh, and you can directly go with your uh, what you call objectives also. But kindly make a note, all these things can be decided only based on your research methodology. If you decide your research methodology properly, then you will go ahead easily. And let me uh, quickly sum up. See, problem statement, very simple. It is nothing but research gap. Aim, it's a overall what you are going to achieve. Objectives, you will write using the action verbs to exactly what you want to achieve, intend to achieve in your research. Uh, you will use the action verbs to write it. And research question, it is much more specific. It will be very specific, you know, you will, you will either direct question or indirect question use to uh, write it and whether can you skip some of these things yes you can skip either aim or research question but only one thing which you cannot skip is objectives i hope this video will be really useful will it be useful if it is please share to your friends i'll catch you in the next video bye bye